Welcome back to another video of this course to master Spring Boot. In our earlier video, we have covered Hibernate introduction, where we have connected our Java application, our Spring application to our PostgreSQL database. Our database is currently running. We just created one table, customers, with some inconsistent column name. So now what are we going to do is we'll just quickly create one more entity class. customer underscore detail or we'll say customer detail customer detail class so in this class we will same thing we'll define it as an entity now we will use the same private int id private in cd id private string user name private string first name private string last name Email, we'll see what else we have. Last mobile number, we'll just something like we can also have address, but for address, I wanted to keep it as a complex object. We have covered this complex object in our REST API videos. You could go and watch, and yeah, I'll cover that in later videos. So now just keep it like this, and then what are we going to do is we'll have some more feature, and we'll also define it as a primary key. So we can have it as an ID. Now, the one, the two, two annotation. What we are going to study in this video is that at the rate table. Why this? To, what is the purpose of this? Is that sometimes our Java class are not as what we expect our table to be. So then we can define it as as our custom table name. So we can have our sign up underscore customer underscore details table so instead of having customer detail as a table name we can have our own name what we want to define based on our certain module what we are building for sign up means all sign up tables will have this prefix as sign up that's the power of having this annotation so now and this is how your application will look nicer Many people don't do it, but this is you. You have to do it. Okay. Customer underscore and enterprise level application. These are very common. Customer detail ID. Column underscore name. We will have customer underscore user name. I just copy this customer so it's this little faster. Now, column name, then first underscore name. See, we are trying to make our column consistent. This will make more sense when you are really building big application and it looks quite beautiful. Column underscore name, we have customer email and also when we are going to cover advanced hibernate mapping right these things will make a lot of sense you will understand that's why they provide this feature because it looks nice right if you see how boring this is how boring this is and now you look how pretty or how efficient this design is this is quite simple and now what are we going to do is it's quite simple our table is running we don't have this table we'll just refresh it you see we don't have this table in our database so we'll quickly run our application right now also one more thing right moving forward what are we going what are what are right now we're doing is right we are just running it application runs it connect to a database and then create our 
table and then application just shut down right now our application is not running application is not up or uh, instances or instance of an application is not up we'll discuss all this thing in our later video but for now we are just focus for our entity because then only we will cover other aspect or you will better understand how these things are working so now we'll go to start our application and we'll see what will happen we'll start our application and then it is connecting creating a query pool okay ran successfully close the api okay now we'll come back to our we will refresh it see the count becomes 2 and we have one more table called sign up customer details it is looking better sign up customer details and all the columns as you to see the consistency of having a column the way we want to define id customer detail id email first name last name mobile number and username this is quite better right now what we are doing is we will be in our last we inserted our information using insert script provided by or using the feature of pg admin but in the next video what are we going to do is we are going to insert the information of our customer through our java application right now what we can do is we'll just click here and uh, we will create a script insert a script and then we can insert our record we did this thing in our last video but and what email address is Long. What we need? First name, last name, mobile number. Then we have username. Then what? Next, I will run this. Our query inserted, and then we'll right click, and then we will view. Okay, just now we have inserted this. Right now we are we are inserting our record in our previous video for this table. Also, we have inserted it via. I think yeah, I have restarted this server. So my records are gone. Now for this, what are we doing? What are we doing is we are using database client to insert the record. Now in our next video, we will insert the record from our application. There are few more things which we need to consider is that about constructor because I haven't provided any constructor in Java. The constructor is if you don't provide any constructor. a uh, default constructor is created automatically that also i will cover in our upcoming videos there are so many things which we need to cover when we are dealing with hibernate or jpa i hope you like the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel that's all thank you